Hello everyone, how are you? My name is Brandy and I am um, the owner and artisan behind Brushed by Brandy. Um, I'm also a brand ambassador for the Dixie Bell Paint Company. If you guys can see and hear me okay, come on and let me know. I'm gonna apologize today because I am wearing my sunglasses. Um, I have an eye infection right now and it means the light is really bothering me. So I'm gonna wear my sunglasses during my live today. I know it's weird, sorry. Um, it's also a beautiful, bright, sunny day. So we'll say it's because of that instead. Um, so I'm here in California. So good morning, everybody. Um, I'm here live on the D Lawless Hardware page because I'm going to show you guys how um, changing out hardware on a piece can totally update and change the look of your piece. Um, so what I'm working on right now is this set of nightstands right behind me. And I'm going to lower my camera a little bit so you guys can see them better. They're nothing pretty. In fact, they're actually probably pretty ugly. Um, they've got these ordinary gold knobs on them. Um, they are an 80s style, very, you know, brown wood. So my vision for these is to get rid of these knobs completely. And what I liked about them is that they've got this division in the drawers right here. So while it's only two drawers, it actually looks like it's six small drawers. And I'm gonna take advantage of that. Um, I'm gonna take this uh, small drawer look and emphasize that. So what I chose is I'm gonna get rid of these. Hi, Christy, how are you? Everybody who's in the way of the hurricane, please be safe today. I'm hearing there's lots of evacuations. Um, so what I'm choosing is I'm gonna go ahead and remove these knobs and I actually chose label pulls. So I'm going to take these and instead of a single pull in the middle, I'm going to put these on each side. So let's see if I can hold them up so you guys can see what this will look like. So I'm going to put one on each side and then I'll do it all the way down and I think it will emphasize the look and give it more of an industrial feel than these plain little gold knobs. So I'm going to show you the process that I go through when I want to change out hardware like this. So I'm gonna put these aside. These are just my little label pulls. Um, and I think changing the hardware is gonna to totally change the feel of the piece. So when I look at hardware, um, I, I will try to use original vintage hardware if I can. If I've got a full set of it, I will try to use original vintage hardware. Um, there's nothing like it, but then you get into the era when this is the original vintage hardware and it just is plain and there's not a lot to it. I've got this piece over here. You can see it's got these French provincial pulls on it. Um, the personality of the hardware gives personality to the piece. So I think of it like um, if you're putting together an outfit, you wouldn't dress up in your, um, oh yeah, the, you just got these in the mail today? That's awesome, they're one of my favorites. Um, I actually have a whole bunch of stuff that I just got. Um, I just did a piece behind me. Sorry, I, I, I stopped my train of thought. I'll come back to it in just a second. I did this piece right behind me and I put the original poles on it, this one here. But I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when I change out the poles, how it can change the look and feel of a piece. So um, back to what I was saying, I can compare it to, you wouldn't dress up in your nicest, fanciest outfit and then put on your Nike running shoes, you know? Um, you would go find shoes that match your outfit. So these are the shoes that match your outfit. These are the shoes that are gonna match my outfit. These right here. These are my Nike running shoes. Like they are functional, they'll do the job, but they're not that pretty to look at. These are what's gonna bring this outfit together. Um, so I'm gonna take, um, so right now I've got a single pull hole in the center of all my drawers. And because I'm putting pulls on either side, I don't need this single hole in the center. Now, another option for this, I'm gonna fill them and, um, and cover it, but another option for this that I think I would have liked would be to take um, um, just a regular label holder. So imagine, you know, this without the pull on it, just the label holder, and that could go in the middle. That would have been kind of cute on either side of your pull. But I'm actually gonna take my Dixie Mud so Dixie Mud is a product by Dixie Belle, and it's literally the consistency of mud. Um, mine is pretty well gone. So what I do when it starts kind of drying up is I'll just add a little spritz of water when I go to use it, and it kind of reactivates it. You can stir it in there and remix your mud up to get it to whatever consistency you want to. 
So because mine is down at the bottom, I'm going to use my finger. My fingers are usually dirty anyways, and I'm just going to get out a little bit of this mud. It's like playing in the mud. It is mud. And I'm going to fill these single pull holes on the center of my nightstands. So all I do is I take the mud and I'm going to shove it in there. I like to overfill my holes a little bit. You can also put tape on the back side if you want to fill it to where it doesn't go through to the back side. You can put a little piece of painter's tape on the back side and you can um, fill the hole completely through the drawer. So I'm just using my Dixie mud and like I said, I'm going to overfill it um, for a couple reasons. Number one, I want to be able to sand it smooth when um, once it's dry. And two, um, your fill can have a tendency to sink into the hole as it dries. So I want to, if it starts sinking, I want to have excess on the front that will compensate for that. So super messy. I don't even use a putty knife. I just kind of mound it there on the front of my drawer. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my mud away. And we're going to come over to this other piece over here. So I try to look at characteristics of my piece when I'm choosing hardware. So like I told you on this one, it happened to be the division between the drawers that I really liked and I wanted to emphasize. So I'm going to give each drawer um, two of these label pulls on either side. But if your piece is curvy, I tend to use curvy hardware. If my piece has really straight, clean lines, I'll use straight, clean line hardware. So I take cues from my piece on what would be suitable hardware, and that's how I choose what I'm going to use. Now, when I said I usually I'll use vintage hardware if I have it, if it's beautiful, um, usually it's the right scale for the piece. Um, so vintage hardware is a great option if you have them. So on this nightstand, this is the one we just filled. This one here is one I did earlier that's already dry. So once it's dry, I come back with just one of the Dixieville sanding pads, and I'm just going to sand this smooth. You can add a little spray of water, and that makes it even easier to sand. And then you're kind of wet sanding. And then I will come back and clean up the excess. Another spray of water, and I can wipe it. And I've got a really nice, clean hole fill there. Um, that's smooth to my piece. When I add paint to this, you won't even notice that those little holes were there. So I'm going to bring you guys in so you guys can kind of see. This is my hole here. This is my hole here. I use brown Dixie Mud. It also comes in white and black. Um, since I'm painting this piece, the color of it did not really matter. Um, but the brown does make it hard to see it up against the wood background. Super smooth. So I'm going to throw paint on this after I've done, just so you guys can see. Number one, how paint will change the look of a piece completely. So I find if I'm having a hard time choosing hardware for my piece, sometimes throwing a coat of paint, even a coat of primer on will help you um, to see what the piece is going to look like with paint on it. Um, I'm careful not to wipe too much because that Dixie Mud will start wiping away and I don't want it to wipe away. I want it to stay there and fill my hardware holes. So just be level with my surface. So if you rub at it too aggressively, you can start actually taking out the fill from your hole too. One down here is being stubborn. I put way too much on, and so I've got a lot of excess to sand off. There we go. 
There we go. I like those. They're nice and smooth to my piece. I'm going to make sure I have all my dust wiped away. Got a little bit of excess here. Um, but I love Dixie Mud because number one, it's super easy to use. And number two, because it cleans up super easily. So the color I chose for these, the main body color I'm going to use is going to be Dixie Belle French Linen. Um, so French Linen is one of the new Dixie Belle colors that just came out in their newest release. And then I'm going to do some shading on it with Dixie Belle Gravel Road, which is this deep, rich gray. Um, I'm going to come and I paint every Thursday evening live on the Dixie Belle page. And I'm going to work on these on Thursday as well. And we're going to add some patina paint to them too. I figure since my label pulls are kind of vintage feeling, a little bit industrial feeling, um, I'm going to make these look, you know, I try to go all the way. Once I pick a theme, I go all in with it. So this is my French linen. I'm just going to dip my Dixie Belle brush into it and wipe this over those holes and they will disappear. And you will never know that this piece had center pulls by the time that I'm done with it. So in my paint, I'm going to darken these recesses here. So it looks like a separation between the drawers. I don't want it to be visible that these are solid drawers um, because I'm trying to really play up. I'm gonna add a little bit of water because my paint's a little bit sticky right now. I wanna get a nice smooth finish across the fronts of my drawers. I'm painting these in for you guys to see, but I will take these out and paint the body of my piece as well. But I just want to show you guys what a difference plugging those hardware holes makes and then throwing a coat of paint on, you won't even know that they existed. Um, if you put your coat of paint on, sometimes it can be hard to see if your holes are smooth. So if you put your coat of paint on and feel like one needs um, a little bit more fill in it, then you can just put a little bit of Dixie Mud over your paint and then paint over it again with your second coat. Um, the spots that have the Dixie Mud in it will dry a little different looking with your first coat of paint. But I'm really happy with these. I have one here that I think could use a little bit more, so I'll probably add a little bit of fill once my paint dries and then paint over it again. But otherwise, I think my holes have disappeared. So if I come in here, you cannot tell where I had those center pulls on my piece before. So now that I've got a little bit of, of color on here, if I hold this hardware up again, you can see how I completely changed the look of these pieces. I wish I could hold up more than two, but once I put two, four, six um, on each drawer, these are going to look like multiple drawers. So I think that's a really cool way. Um, I look for pieces that have these drawer divisions. This piece up here was another one. This would be really cool if you wanted to add a single pull to each one of these little squares. So look at your piece and look at how you can use hardware to emphasize the shape of your piece and the style of your piece and really put together the look that you chose for your piece. So um, you guys, I am going to be teaching, I have my shirt on here. I'm going to be teaching live in person at the Bells and Bow Tour um, in New Jersey. And that's coming up on November 3rd. Um, that's in New Jersey. Check out bellsandbowtour.com. Um, D. Lawless Hardware has so generously sponsored the tour, and so we're so excited to be doing some products using D. Lawless Hardware. Um, D. Lawless is generally, genuinely one of my favorite sources for getting reasonably priced hardware. I use them for all the hardware in our new home that we just built, um, is from D. Lawless. So absolutely check out their selection. These label pulls are so reasonably priced, too. They're so reasonably priced and a great industrial look you can give to your piece. So I'm going to pop off, you guys. i got a kindergartner to go pick up. But you guys have a great afternoon. Um, come back Thursday on the Dixie Bell Paint page, and we'll work on these pieces again if you want to see how this look starts coming together. Bye.